and we are back. Hello everyone, welcome back to 5 minutes code channel where I will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks within less than 5 minutes. So without wasting time, let's get started. So today's problem is add binary strings which is marked as a medium level problem. Let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do. So we will be given two strings S1 and S2. Okay. And these length string s1 and s2 lengths can be from 1 to 10 raised to the power 6 okay and what we have to do so these two strings s1 and s2 will be representing binary strings binary strings binary strings means strings consisting of only 1 and 0 okay so this is one string 1101 1, 1, and this is another string 111 1, 1, okay all right and what we have to do we have to find the resultant string after adding the two binary strings okay so i think everyone knows what binary sum is what binary sum is guys so we have to simply treat these two strings 1101 1, 1, and 111 1, 1, as binary numbers and have to perform the sum of these two and simply return the resultant sum string okay so return return the string which is the sum of these two binary string okay so binary sum is basically a bit different from a regular sum here one is the loop one and one this one both sum it will be 10 one and one sum will be 10 so the uh, i will write zero here and the quotient will be and the carry will be one carry will be one okay so let me simply write you if you are not clear so one plus one in a binary is 10 okay and similarly 1 plus 0 is 1 only and uh, 0 plus 0 is also 0 so that is same only uh, the so difference is 1 plus 1 is 10 here okay all right so let's find out how we are going to sum these two and then we will simply see the approach and write the code the approach is very very simple look simple let me first of all write these two 1 1 0 1 and 1 1 1 okay all right so you can see we usually do the sum from the last digit okay so i will be having two pointers from one at this end one at this end okay all right after that what i will do i will simply add the two characters which i and j will be pointing okay so let's do the sum one plus one and now look i will have one carry as well let's see c is carry okay so now carry currently is zero okay what i will do i will do simply one and one so the sum as i told it will be 10 so what i will do i will simply write zero here and the carry will be one carry will be one okay all right now the pointers will be shifted to this now it will be something like zero and one so zero and one and one carry so it is again 10 it is again 10 okay so now again uh, so one and one sum is 10 again i will write zero carry will be same okay now here you can see one one and one carry so it is 3 okay so in case of 3 the sum will be 11 because 1 0 and 1 0 is our 1 this one and then 1 of carry so it is 11 it is 11 okay all right now for 11 again the same thing is there i will write 1 here and 1 will be carry okay now again 1 is this number and 1 is this carry so it will be 10 okay so this is our answer string and we will simply return it okay all right i hope the binary sum will be clear now how we do that and uh, yeah let's see what approach i'm going to do simply i will use one string resultant string which will be currently at uh, nothing it will be empty string i will simply do the sum of i and j whatever they will be pointing and i will update my carry so if you saw carry is equal to sum divide by 2 carry is equal to sum divide by 2 sum can be anything sum can be 1 sum can be 2 and sum can be 3 these two these three only sum is possible so if sum is 1 uh, carry will be 0 because 1 divided by 0 if sum is 2 or if sum is 3 carry will be 1 carry will be 1 so if you know now 2 is represented as 1 0 and 3 is represented as 1 1 okay in binary so this is one thing and after that carry is done so now what i will be appending in my string answer string that is very very simple modulus 2 modulus 2 okay so some modulus 2 i will be appending it in our uh, resultant string okay so yeah guys that's two things which we need to check because for one some modulus 2 will be one for two some modulus 2 will be zero for three some modulus 2 will be one so that is the same thing here also for two modulus will be zero so i will add zero to it for one modulus will be uh, one for one modulus will be one but one was carry here so that's why it is zero here now for three one one and one carry three okay three was there if you remember the modulus three modulus two will be one so i will add one here. okay all right so this is it guys this is it i hope the approach will be clear now simply jump onto the code section and write the code for it all right so let's take three pointers i is equal to s1 dot length minus one meanwhile if you have loved the explanation please don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video because it will motivate me a lot and simply something like this carry is equal to zero at now i will write a while loop here 
uh, let's take one answer string as well so i will be using a string builder because it is immutable in java if you are coding in c plus plus python so you can use recordingly okay all right so while i is less than i is greater than equal to zero or or j is greater than equal to zero or or carry is there carry is greater than zero okay so if these three characters are there i will simply uh, go into my while loop i will simply first of all declare one variable let's say current sum okay it will be carry it will be carry at starting okay it will be carry at starting now i will simply do current sum plus is equal to let me write let me write it look so what is present if i is greater than equal to 0 then only i will go inside it okay if i is greater than equal to 0 my current sum will be added by the number which is represented by i here the number which is represented by i here will be s1 dot caret i okay s1 dot caret i minus 0 okay otherwise it will be 0 otherwise it means ki look the length can be changed na? so if for s2 when s1 will be 0 when i will be 0 s2 will be minus 1 so it will not be representing any number for that i have to check it okay so i hope this one will be clear similarly i will do same thing for j as well so if j is greater than equal to 0 s2 dot caret j and that is it guys that is it okay now two things are there first of all i have to update my carry and second thing is i have to add to my string builder okay so first of all let me write sb dot append uh, what i'm going to append if you guys can answer it will be current sum modulus 2 if you remember i already told and i will simply add one string to it to make this whole as a string so that it gets added to string builder if you are coding in c plus plus you don't need that and after that i will update my carry is equal to uh, sum current sum by two current sum by two okay all right so i think that is it what is needed here i will simply reverse my string now so sb is equal to sb dot reverse okay and one more thing one more thing guys which is remaining is you can see some extra zeros are there you can see some extra zeros are there and it is written the input string may contain leading zeros but the output string should not have leading zeros okay so what i will do i will simply remove all the leading zeros from my answer okay so that is what i am going to do and let's do that as well let's declare one variable k is equal to zero i don't need to use this it will be fine as we dot reverse and i will simply do while k is less than sb dot length and and um, sb dot caret k is equal to zero simply i will update my string my update my pointer k plus plus and at last i will simply write something like sb dot delete from 0 to k so it will delete all the string from 0 to k and at last i don't have to do much i have to simply return sb dot to a string to convert it into a string again if you are coding in c plus plus you don't need that and one more important thing which i've missed is i'm not updating the pointers here so i minus minus and j minus minus i hope it should get accepted let's directly submit it meanwhile if you have loved the explanation please don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video and i hope i yeah it is getting accepted so i've got my geek bit i'm going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding share your feedbacks into the comment section and bye